we're going to get into humanization and strumming techniques using the groove pool. What is happening, people? It's your boy Act Beats back again. Back again! Here with another quick tutorial. Today we're going to get into humanization and strumming techniques using the groove pool. It's come to my attention that in my Discord uh, we've been speaking about humanization and the new features in Ableton 11. And I've tried those out, and I must say, I am still very much likely to use the method that I currently use which is using the groove pool to create humanization and that strumming effect depending on whether you've got a piano or a guitar so without further ado let's get into it this is the piano part that we've got ready just some chords and a lead line I'll play that without any humanization or strumming As you can hear, it's all very staccato and on the grid. There's no dynamics or no humanization, no real human element to the playing. So this is how we do it. We're going to go to our groove pool. We're going to go to grooves and we're going to go and select a swing amount. The one I like to use is the swing 16ths, 52 here. We're going to bring that into the groove pool. We're going to take the timing down to zero and we're going to use the randomization here and the velocity to affect our sound. So we want to go into our chords, go to our groove section, make sure we've got a swing selected. Let's solo the chords and then we're going to dial in the random percentage until we're happy with it sounding like a human playing and the chords having that kind of strum effect that you would expect if you was playing the piano for real. As you can hear, it's starting to sound like um, there's a player hitting chords differently. The fingers are hitting each part of the chord at different times. Um, and we can make that a bit more extreme. If you want to change that to eighth notes, for example, then you'll notice it a lot more and sound a lot more like an actual strum on a guitar. Uh, so let's dial that one in. So as you can hear, that's a little bit more extreme. I like to keep it on the 16th, makes it a little bit more realistic. If we go ahead and change it to a guitar, you still get the same effect. So let's go ahead and put in our lead line as well. Let's go and grab uh, Omnisphere and select a guitar. So this is the strumming with the guitar. We might have to raise it up a little bit. So control A, shift, arrow up. So again, without. All very much on the grid. We raise the random percentage here and start to get it sounding like someone strumming the guitar. see if we can uh, give the same lead line guitar to this guy. Nice, there you have it guys, a simple, quick and easy trick to use the groove pool to create some humanization and strumming effects on either a piano part with chords 
or on a guitar part with chords. I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Check in for more. That sample and MIDI was from my latest pack. So go ahead to the store and check out my sample packs if you want to go ahead um, and purchase that. Go for it. Tag me up in any beats that you make. And let's get to work. If you've got any suggestions for tutorials coming up, by all means, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And if there's anything that you want me to touch on within this tutorial again, please let me know. Take it easy. Peace. Nice one.